I uh that we had in Nairobi. Alright, let me let me read. It's the you love me wanting mm. to the day. Mm. To the day. It's you love me craving to the day. To the day. Cause you're my Fire, your body fire. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Hayes with my grace, uh, aka the bad chase, Sasaki Solo. Y'all know what it, it is. Yes, I am Sachi Solo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a big guest right away. His name is Saki Solo. And of course, we will be getting a lot uh, from him, um, Sa- Mr. Saki Solo. How, um, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Mr. Mario. How are you doing? I'm all, I'm all, oh, I'm all fine, yeah? I know your friends are listening. Uh, so, uh, when did uh, you start all this uh, music career? Uh, like, I remember you posted me before, and uh, I remember telling you that I started my music career way back in 2017. Mm. And, and, and who actually... Is- who who inspired you to do uh, such great um, a journey into this uh, great journey? Oh, basically, I I had passion for the for the music and uh, the dancing, you know, the craft of mm. sound. Mm. But I got inspired by listening to Western world music, mm. that of Western world. I mean, the upper hip, the hip hop, mm. the R and B, the Drakes, the mm. Rihanna. Mm. The Chris Browns. Mm. So that's how I kept on vibing to it so much. Then mm. I became a little bit intact with the music mm. when uh, these artists, the trap music artists, emerged. Those are the yeah. Migos, yeah, yeah. the Kodak Black, the mm. Black American artists. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and again, uh, I, I I see you more of R and B. And and uh, you are a fan of uh, hip hop. What what is your real genre? Uh, like, what do you love uh, doing? Is it R and B or hip hop? Basically, I I do hip hop so much. Mm. I'm a big fan, of, mm. big lover of hip hop. Mm. But now that, uh, for example, in Uganda and in Africa at large. Mm. Afrobeat, mm. R&B mm. is this type of music that is a little bit catchy mm. compared to the rest of the world. Mm. So that's why you find a person like I doing much more of R&B and Afrobeat than mm. the hip hop I would actually be doing. Mm. So, yeah, so it's the target market. Of- I I understand. So how many how many songs have you worked on like from the uh, the year 2017? From the year 2017, I think I have more than 50 songs now. Really? <laughs> um, and how many songs are really out for uh, the uh, community consumption? For the community consumption, I think about 18 to 20 of them are out for community consumption. Yo. Be some of the collabs in the, my singles. Mm. Mm. Who's who is that big artist you look at, um, and 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 you feel like you 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 can do a collaboration with him, like for example the hip hop artist in Uganda. Yo, the hip hop artist in Uganda, I bench for people like Fefe Busi. I bench for people like um, the Myth. I bench for people like Navi Yo. Mm. I mean, for people like Big Trill, you know, you know that, that type of music these guys are doing is real good. Hip hop, mm-hmm. I would die for a bit of those. Oh, cool. Um, and, and and when we move uh, East African wise, East African wise, I'm looking at um, there is this Kenyan rapper. What's his name? Calif- Cal- calligraphy what's his Jones. Calligraphy Cali- yeah, Jones. Jones. Yeah. Um, yeah, Caligula Jones mm, in East Africa, basically. Mm, Even though we have uh, Kivomi King in Rwanda, yeah, he's a poet and yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. So basically, yeah, it's Africa wise. I have Fefe Pussy, I have Kivomi from Rwanda, mm. I have Caligula Jones from Kenya. Mm. Yeah, I've, I've been checking out your. Uh, 
Come again? Come again? There, there are these film scenes, the female rappers. Mm. Yeah, for the female rappers, we're looking at legendary K Ho. Mm. We are, we are looking at uh, this Kenyan babe. Um, but she calls herself the goddess. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's too good. She, she's got flows. Then we're looking at Femi One also from Kenya. Yeah, yeah, Femi One as well. Mm, mm. True, true. So I've I've been checking your uh, your YouTube channel and and I've been seeing you working with a lot of young talent. How do you um, um, perceive and of course how do you make it? Uh, literally working with a uh, young talent is it gives me more courage and more space and. Mm. environment to learn from others mm. because I started my music in an era that the legends we had back home in Kisoro in the music industry were at the moment unavailable for us to learn from yeah 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 they were a little bit far for us to conserve let's say some of them had dropped out on the music mm. the others were not in Kisoro at the moment so my come up for the music industry mm. from Kisoro was really a hard one so Mm. I feel it way necessary for me to be there for the ones that are just coming up mm. after our regime or the the one you feel it's mm. good and it's helpful for me to be available for them. Mm, true. So um mm. you've you've uh, you've uh, worked um uh, with uh, some uh, Randys Basically, mm. I think I have uh, a few projects in studio. Mm-hmm. Because your language is uh, looking at your, your language is more uh, familiar to theirs, and of course, it it yeah, yeah, there yeah, is yeah, a lot of yeah, is more familiar to Kenya Randa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some studio collabs obviously that I need to come out. As mm. well. So, so the people should wait uh, for so many uh, uh, beautiful things from Hayes Willett. Mm. Yes, people should wait for more fire. Yeah, more fire, more fire. <laughs> this, uh, this other um, uh, era we in of uh, Ama Piano, every artist has at least tried to uh, dance and sing to the rhyme of Ama Piano. How did you find the concept? Man, man, man. <laughs> Ama Piano is a whole lot of new uh, level. Yeah, yeah. Some other rare sound. Mm. Ama piano is this type of sound. It's literally everybody vibes to dance. Mm. You get to bond and connect with the music that is playing. So Ama piano is a whole different Afro type of beat. Mm. I, mean, I I see you in that very song. Literally. Mm. Ama- mm. Come again. Come again. Mm, it's, li- it, it's literally African drums. Mm. Mm. And some little bit of uh, mm. melodies from the other string instruments mm. that are somewhere somehow combined with a vibe, mm. the, the feel, the emotion, and the connection that brings people to dance. The type of modern dancing, mm. moves mm. that gives a piano a whole different vibe in comparison to other sounds. Yo, yo. Now, 